Welcome back. Let's now sign up for the G Suite trial. So G Suite trial. Let's get started. So we're going to type the business name is the same as the domain that we registered. In terms of the amount of employees, I'm going to say two to nine. In a, in a G Suite trial, you can have up to 10 users before you actually have to start paying. If you want 11 users, then you have to start paying. Um, this does give you 14 days. So right now I'm just going to say two to nine. I'm in South Africa. So I'm going to say next step. Contact info. I'm going to do this. And that's going to be poll at taming.tech. Do we have a domain? Yes, I have one. And it's going to be taminggsuite.com. So we're going to use this domain to set up the account. Obviously, you can buy a new domain as well. Um, in South Africa, the Google domains don't work yet. So if you push that, you could actually search for it. But right now, I'm going to just push next. Do you want to be involved in the feedback circle with Google? Um, we're going to say no thanks. The first email address that we are going to sign up with is going to be a super admin. So this one is going to be the, the god of, of the G Suite. So if you are going to be signing this up for yourself, you are going to be that. Let's just go as Paul there, and let's put a password in. Okay. So let's wait for this to get set up. You can change your currency over here. So let's push next. Okay, so fill in your contact details. Yeah, so now obviously we have to put the credit card details in. That is to say that we actually want to do this and we're a real person, we're not just a spam or a, a bot that's sort of like signing up. It does charge your credit card and it does then reverse it immediately again to make sure that it does actually work. It's normally about a dollar that it charges and then once it's done that, it, re it automatically reverses it. If you don't want to continue this afterwards, please make sure that you do downgrade it or cancel your account before the 14 days. Now, depending on what you actually want to get achieved with this, you can go through the wizard and we're going to say next. And you can go and say we can verify and then create email accounts and then activate Gmail for this domain. So it takes about five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Let's do the first thing, which is the verification. And then I'll show you where you can actually go as well. Let's just go here to admin. .google.com. So at the same place, this is basically just a um, wizard that you go through, or you can go through here and you can click here to get started. Okay. So let's say verify. What I have said to you guys before is that before we do anything with your live domain that's going to stuff up the mail flow or that your emails won't work anymore, um, I'll tell you, this is not one of those times. This is not going to stuff it up at all. All this is doing is saying you own the domain. All this is going to do is going to put a text record in and we're going to say we have access to the DNS of the text record, therefore we actually own the domain. So there's text verification or you can switch methods to a CNAME or a meta tag or upload an HTML file. So depending on, on what kind of access you have, if you have full access to the, the domain, a text file is quite nice and easy or a CNAME is also quite nice and easy. If you have access to the website only, but not for, to the domain, um, you can then add a meta tag or an HTML file in your WordPress or your um, HTML um, website. Okay, so we're going to just do a text record. So I'm just going to say cancel there. So we're going to add verification to the domain settings. It doesn't affect your email or website. And then verify that we own the domain. So let's say continue. So here are the verification codes. So what it says is you're going to add a text record so Google can confirm that we own Taming G Suite. So I'm going to say copy, going back into SiteGround, going to Advanced DNS Zone Editor, Taming G Suite. Now, when you set up these domains on SiteGround, it does add quite a few records to it for you, which we're actually going to remove. This is this record, which is an SPF record, is often um, put in there when you're going to use SiteGround's email, which is the pop um, IMAP email. So I'm just going to delete that because that's unimportant. Uh, there's some CNAME records, there's some A records. So let's add a new record now. 
So we are going to say taming gsuite.com and what you'll notice is that in the cPanel adds little dots at the end. We're going to say 3600 as the TTL, which is the time to live. Uh, time to live. And we're going to say this is a text record. And the text record we're going to paste in that record. Okay. And 3600 is 3600 seconds, which is actually one hour. Let me say add record and you should see it come down the bottom here. So let's now go back here. Gives you more instructions on how to do this. And obviously if yours looks different to mine, please make sure that you do it your way. Verify my domain. So what you might find is that depending on how fast you've actually done this, sometimes your DNS takes a bit of time to, to propagate across the world. If you want to see how it's actually propagating, quite easy. You go to this little website called whatsmydns.net and you put in your domain. So I'm going to put in Tame in G Suite there and I'm going to say the NS record, the name server record. I want to make sure that it's actually propagated throughout the world. So I'm going to say search. Okay. So it tells me there's a couple of places in Pakistan and in Thailand. So Thailand and Pakistan where it hasn't propagated yet. All the rest see that it's actually pointing to site ground. Then if we go and look here, we can go and look at text records and say search. And you'll see that the verification has been updated on all of these as well. Okay, so we're still waiting for that to verify. So while that's verifying, let's come, come back to that just now. So what you'll see now is that it's sort of like once it's done the verification, it moved on to this page. It now says we're now verified. We are the owners of this. So we can create email accounts and we can activate Gmail for this domain. It's all very well and good. What I'd like to do is actually start with all the major setups in terms of the MX records and, and the DCAM records and the DNS records first. And then once I've done that, then I'll create email addresses, then protected by those records. So you can carry on doing it this way if you want. If you want to follow through the wizard, be my guest. I'm going to go to the home here. Right now, let's start with your DNS records. So if you're ready, let's get going.